Hi and welcome back to another video. So today I'm bringing you a product from the home security world. It's the Husky Air by EasyViz, the CSCV310 security camera. It is Wi-Fi enabled on 2.4 gigahertz. It's also as well got network capability. It has an, a very loud alarm system and a strobe light all built in. It's got a wonderful large and wide range lens within it but also as well it's waterproof too. With onboard storage and cloud storage available on it as well, it is an all-round security camera that allows you to be able to mount it anywhere outside or inside and have peace of mind. So I think what we need to do is open up the box and take a look. So I was very lucky earlier this year to have actually had time with this actual product itself at CES 2018 and actually spend some time with Hikvision and EasyViz themselves talking around what this product is. So it's very exciting to actually get one in my hands. I'm very impressed with the fact that everything in here is pretty much everything that you're going to need from a security camera. Having the ability to have things like the actual alarm system, but also as well have the ability to monitor the actual vision and the actual audio that are happening at that moment in time, but also as well have the onboard storage and also as well the cloud storage and easy fitment, whether it be a case of putting it on a wall or mounting it locally, but also as well having the Wi-Fi on 2.4 gigs. So again, you're gonna get a really good range and as well having the network cable as well built into it. Everything is in one package. Now, basically these are designed to be mounted on the outside of your home and just basically give you the ability to monitor what's going on around the perimeter or maybe it might be your garage or your home or your business. This is going to give you the ability to get all of that all on one device and be able to see, again, you know, if you've got a few of these or maybe you want to have them dotted around your property, um, it's going to allow you to see in one place exactly what's going on, whether it be on your laptop or your desktop or your mobile devices. It's fully accessible from everywhere. And to be honest myself, I've got a fair few of these hip vision cameras, these easy vis cameras, and it just allows me to be able to see what's going on at my property, but also as well monitor and have that peace of mind too. So in the box, what we've got is we've got the actual um, guide to the actual product itself. It's quite a lengthy guide. Again, these are, I would say, are blurring between a commercial and an actual sort of residential camera too. So again, you're getting all of the commercial benefits of having high-end CCTV, but also as well in a consumer way. So it's really easy to install, really easy to manage, not having to worry about any special specialized software or anything like that. It's just basically so simple to use. And I'll go on to that in a short while. So there's your user guide. We also as well have a drill template. Now trust me, these are very, very useful. But the one thing that I would say after probably doing around about 16, 18 of these, I would suggest getting a piece of paper and copying it onto the paper rather than using the sticker. I would use the sticker as the last resort because you will sometimes find that it's just a lot easier to have multiples in case it either blows away or it falls off or into the wet or something like that. So definitely copy that and then stick it. We also as well have on here, we've got the actual cable itself. So this basically provides power to the unit. And this is quite a nice lengthy piece, about 1.8 meters. And it just allows you to have power to the device. Again, you know, if you are looking to mount these through a wall, again, make sure that the actual drill um, hole for the actual power is big enough for that to go through. We also as well have some sockets here and I'll show you where they go in a short while. And we also as well have some um, plugs to go in the wall and some screws. So again, everything that you need to mount this on a wall is all provided here. So the last thing, so that's box empty, the last thing that we actually have in the box is the actual unit itself. Now it's not broken, don't worry, it's just that this is the pivot arm. So it's very small, it looks very sleek, it has these two antennas to basically give you wide range of communication to your router in your property. But also as well, it comes with a network cable on the other end. So if you're not wanting to take advantage of the Wi-Fi, 
or if you're wanting a backup to allow you to say if the Wi-Fi was to go down for some reason or become overloaded we have the actual network cable too. It just gives you that wide range of communications through the device. Myself personally I do prefer to have a wired connection. I think it's very reliable and again you've got that ability to do a lot more monitoring from the actual network cable but not everybody's going to have a network cable throughout their property. Now the nice thing that I like about this is being able to have the Wi-Fi. So I can put this in a more remote area as long as I've got electrical connectivity. Um, to the actual device, it just allows me to be able to have that communication a lot easier. So the actual pivot arm allows you to position this pretty much in any direction that you wish. Again, I can swivel this around 360 degrees, I can go up, I can go down, so you've got a sort of a 90 degree angle there. But again, if you're wanting to transform it and say if you're wanting to point it upwards, all you need to do is just move the actual um, the actual mount around and it just makes it very very simple to do and again I can just twist this so if you've mounted this on the wall itself let me just pick that up if you've mounted this on your wall already what you can do here is this pivot arm here is locked off by this little ring nut here so if I loosen this it allows me to move this arm around so again if I want to move it up and down very simple to do but if I want to move it basically upwards only, I just move it around. So it's very, very simple to do, very easy to move, but also as well, it looks the part too. So again, if I'm mounting this outside, and this is one of my tips when it comes to CCTV, is always to look towards mounting these just above head height. The idea being is, is that when it comes to being able to provide evidential um, footage for maybe a break-in or somebody entering your property or your, your, your area of your home or your business, you need to be able to provide evidence that shows somebody's face in its entirety. Now if, and I've seen this quite a lot, what happens is they mount the CCTV so far up and pointing down that all you get is the top of their head. And it makes it very, very difficult to be able to use that in a court or when you're, when you're providing it over to the authorities. So the idea is, is that to mount this, not at head height, but just above and pointing ever so slightly down. Now the really nice thing that comes from this is the fact that it's got a very wide angled lens. Now if I'll just read off the box, um, I'm not that good at remembering these sometimes. So the, at 2.8mm at f2.2 gives a horizontal angle of gives a horizontal angle of 92 degrees. The diagonal angle is 108, or at 4mm is 2.0 at horizontal angle of 72 with a diagonal angle of 86 degrees. Or at 6mm is a 2.2 horizontal angle of 36 degrees with a diagonal angle of 40 degrees. Now this one is the 2.8mm, so again that gives you basically a horizontal angle of 92 and a diagonal angle of 108 degrees. So if you are looking at taking advantage of these CCTV cameras, uh, what I'll do is I'll put in, in the description box down below a link to show you the differences between the actual lens diameters and how they look when it comes to actually viewing the footage back. So as I mentioned on here what it's got is it's got a couple of additional things. So it's got on the bottom here the ability to reset the device. So any configuration you've put on the device or if there's any faults there's a reset button underneath here. Uh, which is basically on a screw waterproof connection. It also as well comes with the micro SD card slot underneath here as well. So again, you can open this up and pop in a micro SD for onboard storage. So if you don't want to put the actual information in the cloud, maybe you've got a low speed internet connection and being able to upload high resolution sort of footage back up into the cloud is basically just gonna be detrimental to the internet connection or just not even possible. Having the actual onboard storage just gives you that ability to still create and actually have the footage available if needed on the actual camera itself. 
Also as well, inside it, as I mentioned, it's got a very large and very loud alarm system built in. So using the actual application to configure things like motion detection, what you can then do is say, if I see a motion occur, and I can increase or decrease the sensitivity based on maybe there's a lot of animals or maybe there's some trees and you can decrease the sensitivity and what that will do is it will allow for basically when that motion occurs in the sense that you want it to be detected it will send a push notification to your device but also as well it will sound the alarm on here and it will strobe the actual light on here as well basically alerting the person who is moving around your property to basically move away from the vicinity. So I think what we now need to do is plug it in, show you how it's easily configured and show it in action and give you my summary. So I've now got the actual device plugged in. So all I've done is I've just popped in the actual electrical cable into that side. And again, all I've done is hooked up to the Wi-Fi. Again, super easy to do and I'll pop a little bit of um, footage over the top of this just to show you how it's done. It's very, very simple. All you need to do is just install the EasyViz application basically scan the QR code that's on the bottom here. And again, on all cameras, it's got an individual QR code so it can attach to the specific camera itself. And then all you need to do is just attach it to the Wi-Fi. So select your Wi-Fi profile, pop in the password, and hey presto, it's connected. And you've got the ability to then control the actual configuration, all the features and functions of the actual camera itself. But also as well, you've got the ability to do things like actually have the two-way audio and also as well change things like the actual settings of the actual camera footage itself from maybe a basic through to high definition through to ultra definition so again you know you've got that ability to have that customization to exactly what you need so let's take a look at it actually in use so i'm just going to mount that down there and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to open up my application it's very very simple to do so all i do is i just open up the app and again, I can see myself straight away. So if I just pop that over to the side there, and again, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop it over there and I can see immediately and hear immediately what is going on. So very, very simple. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna disable the actual audio on there so it doesn't interfere with what we're talking around. But basically all of my configurations and all of the things that I can do with this camera are immediately available to me. So if I swipe down on here, what I've got is things like the actual alarm. So I can sound the alarm if I see something or just want to make people aware that it's being monitored at that moment in time. And this can be a manual process, so I can press that. And again, what you'll see immediately is it start alarming. So I can disable that. So again, this is very loud alarm. It's 100 decibels, so very loud indeed. It's got that strobe light function. So again, it's gonna alert people to, to what's going on and that they're moving around where they shouldn't be. And again, this is just the manual process button, but I'll show you the actual automated system in a short while. So the other ones as well, what we've got is we've got the ability to take a snapshot. So if I just press snapshot here, that's just going to take an immediate image of exactly what's going on at that moment in time. So again, having the snapshot feature just allows you to be able to take a direct image of what's going on. And maybe it might be a case of that you see a bird in the garden, or maybe it might be, unfortunately, somebody trying to break into a maybe a car or something like that. You've got the ability to take snapshots and images directly onto your mobile device or onto your laptop or desktop. We've also as well got a record function. So if I press and hold that, what's going to do is it's going to automatically take a, basically a, a recording directly of what's going on and pop it immediately into your actual device. So I can then stop that and it'll store that piece of um, footage in its actual system itself. And then what we have is we've got this button down here and it's basically giving you the ability to have standard or ultra definition. So this is a 1080p full HD camera. So if you want to disable the high definition side of things for maybe putting through on your phone and reducing that impact on your local network, but still getting really, really good quality images and video, you can move this down to a 720p. So still getting a high definition, but it's not taking up as much bandwidth on your local network. So again, it's not going to be in detriment to the image, to be honest, but it's going to allow you to still get the good quality, but without, like I say, having that impact on your network. 
So the actual configuration of the actual unit is super easy. All we do is literally just press on the settings button and we get a list of all the different things that we can do. We can enable things like the cloud storage. We can mess about with the things like the actual onboard storage. We can change the Wi-Fi connectivity. We can also as well change things like the dates and times. We also as well have the ability to automatically and manually update the software directly on the device. So basically what will happen is EasyViz and Hikvision will send out updates to the device to make sure it still operates to its best potential and that will basically be able to be pushed towards the device just by using this application. You keep the app open, you keep the power connected to the device, you press the button and hey presto, 5-10 minutes later the device is up to date and operating at its best peak performance. We also as well have, like I say, around the actual automated side of things for the notifications. So again, this can be things like motion sensitivity. So if somebody is approaching or moving around, maybe in your garden or your premises, what this will do is it will automatically sense that, dependent upon the sensitivity that's set, and it will send a notification to your mobile device or mobile devices that are connected to this system. And it will basically send you an immediate vision of exactly what's going on, but also as well, it will store that either onto the local system itself on here, onto the SD card, or it will upload it to the cloud itself. So it's super easy to actually enable the motion sensitivity and the actual alarm notifications. So basically detecting and reporting exactly what's going on if it sees something. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a piece of black paper in front of it so it can't see me moving around. And all I'm going to do is just select on the process here and basically select the alarm notification. This will automatically enable this to happen. And what we can then do is we can set the actual sensitivity on there basically say do we want it to be virtually off do we want it to detect every single tiny motion so i'm just going to set it in the middle there and what we can do also as well we can change the actual level of the alarm so whether we want a soft tone or a real intense tone when you've got the options of them and also as well maybe it might be a case of you're in and out maybe you work from home maybe you're in most of the day um, maybe you're not in the, the day and you just want the alarm system to notify you when you're not at home. Um, so you can set the actual schedule of when you want the motions to occur. So it's very, very simple to do and you can set up that scheduling there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally just remove this and what will happen is, is that automatically detects my motion. It's basically made me aware of that that's happening and it's already sent me an immediate playback of what's happening at that moment in time. So if I press playback here, what will happen is, is that will replay exactly what's going on and I can then select onto the live feed to, see, to actually see exactly what's happening at that moment in time. I could then use the two-way audio to be able to talk directly to the person who may be in my garden or my front porch or something like that, wherever the CCTV camera is. Maybe it might just be a next door neighbour coming round to return the ball that your kids kicked over the fence. So you can just say thank you. You know, it's not all about being the worst thing. And I think that's the great thing about these CCTV cameras is it gives you the ability to say, okay, what's going on at that moment in time and give you peace of mind. So as I say, these devices are so easy to set up. They're really, really easy to mount and put wherever you need. I think the only problem that I've got with this actual device itself is the actual length of the power cable. I don't think it's long enough to be able to provide the ability to put this in a really sort of remote area. I do think that if you're wanting to provide it, maybe it might be on one side of the wall and it's a struggle to get the actual power cable and the, to, to basically a main socket in your home, you're going to have to put in an extension cable and things like that. What would have been nice to have actually had is basically the ability to have a much longer one of these cables or have the ability to have power over Ethernet, so a PoE ability on the actual network cable itself. I plugged this in and tried it over PoE and it didn't enable it. It does need this actual power cable attached itself. So that was a real disappointment from my point of view because I do think that you know people do tend to use these more so in areas whereby there isn't an actual 
physical main socket usually available right next to within pretty much a meter or so of where you're mounting these things because they tend to be sort of six seven foot high up in the air but again i don't think it's in detriment to the actual product itself you can get from electronic stores basically extension cables for these but also as well you can actually mount a mount an extension cable or a, an actual plug socket near it if you do require so for me, apart from the fact that it doesn't come with PoE on here and also as well this long cable, I really do think that this gives you all of the functions that you do require when it comes to home CCTV. It allows you to have full access to the device and control it very easily through mobile application or on your actual desktop or laptop. It's dust proof and waterproof, it's IP66 rated, so again, giving you peace of mind from the actual unit itself. It's super easy to mount. It's very, very hardy. Again, it's made out of metal. It's got a really super wide lens, and again, you can choose the different levels of width, of angle of view. And also as well, it's really easy to move around. So if you want to position it in a different manner, but you've already fixed it to the wall, it's super easy to maneuver. I really do like the look of it. It's really sleek. I have a few of these very similar devices at home myself, um, just without the Wi-Fi. Um, and I really do like this one because I've got somewhere where I want to be able to monitor at my home but I'm not able to actually put a network cable. It's very difficult for me to run that, but I can get power to there. So for me, this is definitely going to be very useful for that. Now, I will show you in a future video on how to actually mount these on a wall, because I think it's very useful to actually see where CCTV should be mounted on a property. I think that's very beneficial. And I think, like I said earlier on in the video, is concentrating on making sure that it's just around or just above head height because you really do want to ensure that you can see what is going on and mostly somebody's face mostly you know in the worst case scenario if somebody was able to enter your premises you want to be able to see exactly who it was when it was and have the full view of it and i think that's the really great thing that comes from this unit is that not only can you get really high quality, high definition images and videos during daytime hours, but also as well at nighttime, having about a 30 meter viewable capability at night using the IR, the infrared sensors within this unit, just gives you that real peace of mind when it comes to actually security at night as well. I've actually caught quite a fair few things on the actual infrared at night time of, you know, cats and foxes and things like that wandering around the garden and doing silly things. And it's, it's really nice to see because, again, you could use this just for watching wildlife if you wanted. You can put this somewhere remote just as long as you've got that electrical cable available. But, you know, you can monitor things like your sheds or the back gardens and, and areas that you really wouldn't have, you know, network connectivity. But you may have that ability to, to just have a plug socket. And anywhere that you do have a plug socket and ability to actually have Wi-Fi reach. And again, with the 2.4 gig capability on the Wi-Fi, it's going to have a really long range of capability. I mean, it's got the dual antennas are here, so again, positionable to direct to where your actual um, Wi-Fi network is. It's gonna really give you that benefit when it comes to connectivity. So I think all in all, the Husky Air, the CS CV310 from EasyViz just brings an all-in-one package when it comes to home security and visuals. It allows you to be able to see what's going on, remote access, all the storage and all the configurations that you need to be able to secure and protect your home when it comes to CCTV. So from my point of view, I cannot recommend these products enough. And I would say if you need any more information about CCTV, I'll pop all the links down below in the description box. But if you have enjoyed the video and it's been very useful, please click that like button. If you've got any questions whatsoever about the product itself, the Hikvision and EasyViz range of CCTV products, but also as well CCTV in general, please pop it down in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. 
And if you want to stay tuned for more videos, especially in regards to these sort of products, please click that subscribe button with notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.